Section 5 is about personal investing. And choosing the right broker is the first step in implementing your investment plan. So members of the general public cannot directly trade stock in other securities. So you have to choose a broker. You have a discount broker and a full service broker. So a discount broker is going to provide the basic services. The full service broker is going to provide a wide range of services in addition to just carrying out the trades. Once you've set up your account, you can trade securities by contacting your broker and indicating the security that you want to trade and the quantity that you want to buy or sell. And you can also specify the type of order you want in place. So there are market orders and there are limit orders. Market orders is an order telling a broker to buy or sell a specific security at the best currently available price or you can have a limit order and this is where you tell the broker to buy a specific stock only if its price is below a certain level or to sell a specific stock only if the price is above a certain level. Although there are many strategies for making investment decisions, no approach is foolproof. Investing for income is more effective for retirees who want low risk, but not younger investors who are trying to grow their wealth. The problem with market timing is it's tough to consistently identify the timing and the direction of changes in stock prices. Most investors are better off using dollar cost averaging. A simple approach to value investing is buying dogs of the Dow. So look for stocks that are undervalued in the market. Investing for growth entails significant risk. Buy and hold investors, they rely on market increases over long periods of time. So they put their faith in the ability of the overall market to continue the long run upward trend that it's exhibited throughout its history but it means leaving money invested through a long time period all right the last section is about keeping tabs on the market and one of the most common ways to track market conditions is to, and to look at your trends of the market is to follow what's happening in um, various stock indices. So many investors like to compare how stocks in their own portfolio, um, how they compare to the performance of these broad indices. So stock index, this is a statistic that tracks how the price of a specific set of stocks have changed. You have the Dow Industrial Average. This is an index that tracks prices of 30 large well-known U.S. corporations. Some of these, uh, an example would be McDonald's, um, Apple, Coca-Cola, and then standards, Standard & Poor's 500. This is a stock index based on prices of 500 major U.S. corporations in a variety of industries and market sectors. So that would be, um, there's a lot of those on there, Apple, Amazon, um, Facebook. Those are just a few examples. Here are some major stock price indices. This is the index, and this is what it tracks. So you can read over that. And um, many financial websites will offer detailed stock quotes that provide the current price of a company's stock and a wealth of related information such as the last trade, change, bid NAS, days range, and a 52-week range, it, the volume, the market cap, the price to earning ratio, the earnings per share, and the dividend and yield. So here's one. Um, this is McDonald's Corporation common stock. This is in real time. 
and this was on at close February 12, 2021 at 4 p.m. Eastern. So you can see all the information about that stock at that time. So here are, this is on page 197, and these are what these items mean. For example, last trade is the price of McDonald's common stock for the most recent trade. So the last trade was $214.27. Um, earnings per share is how much McDonald's earned per share of common stock, common stock outstanding. So the way you you can get that is take your net income that's available to your common stockholders and divide by the number of common stock outstanding. So your earnings per share here was $6.31. So I'm not going to go over all of these, but you can kind of read over these and, and look at what I would do is I would look up here at this and then go down below and see what it means. And let me know if you have any questions.